Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm really excited to bring to you this beautiful wrap from the 18th century. So this is inspired by the um, series Outlander. I spotted the main character, I think it was in season five, wearing a beautiful wrap that was tied around her body so I just recreated my own version of this so this is just an inspiration the free pattern as always is available on my blog selinaveronique.com and the link is in the down bar and so this is um, a really beautiful easy project um, lots of um, historical descriptions and research has gone into making this wrap so uh, more details are on my blog post where I will be explaining exactly um, everything about um, the historical features of these of this particular wrap so I hope I'm making sense so this is also called a sontag. Well, it was all, it was called a sontag in the 19th century. So that was a specific wrap that featured um, ties or buttons or some sort of way to fasten on a wrap. And that's the type of wrap we see on the series Outlander time and time again. So I decided to make my own version of a sontag with beautiful ties. I will be popping photos on the blog on exactly how to tie this um, shawl but it's really easy and the whole pattern is really easy and as I said lots of historical details are on my blog post so if you want more details about a sontag just check that out and lots of photos on my blog so this is a really easy project and also it features a simple V um, a simple V shape and a beautiful um, V stitch and then the shell stitch edging which is really easy to make but I think looks absolutely stunning. I'm really really pleased with how this has turned out and obviously the ties. And so for this project I used Yarnspiration's Caron Cloud Cakes. I only needed one skein. The exact measurements of this wrap will be available on um, the blog post, so check that out. And this is 100% acrylic. It's in shade cloud grey and it's super, super soft. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for every season, I think. And it's a medium four yarn and I used a five millimeter crochet hook for this project. I also used a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. And also um, I will be using US terms and British terms in brackets. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay, so to begin, you will be creating a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And now you are going to be chaining four. So one, two, three, and four. So once you've chained four, you will be slip stitching through that first chain. So pop your hook directly through that, pull up, pull your loop through, and pull through. And this creates a circle into which we will be working. So now chain three, one, two, and three, and this counts as our first double crochet. Now what we are going to be doing is placing five more double crochets within this circle. So to create your first double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the center, pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, Take your yarn, go through two loops, and go through two loops. And this is a double crochet. 
So now we will be placing four more double crochets and um, I am weaving in this loose end as I go. So just go ahead and place four more double crochets. So two, three, and four. And so this creates a first cluster of six double crochets because this first chain three counts as a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. Now chain two, one and two, and place six more double crochets um, into that same circle. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is what it looks like. So this is what row one looks like. So for row two, I am going to be chaining three. So one, two, and three. Turn your work. So we've just chained three. I am going to zoom in a teeny bit. There we go. And so now that we've chained three, this goes with this first um, stitch here. What we are going to be doing, so it is our first double crochet. We are going to be placing a second double crochet inside that first stitch. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into that. And this is what creates um, the fact that the shawl is going to get wider and wider um, throughout the rows. So now that you've placed two double crochets together in that first stitch, you are simply going to be placing a double crochet into the next stitch. And a double crochet into the next stitch. And a double crochet into the next stitch. And into the next stitch. And now we've reached um, the center. Okay, so now that you've reached the center, you are, so the center chain two from the previous row, you are going to be placing two double crochets, one and two in that center, chain two, one and two, and place another two double crochets in that center space. So as you can see, I've just placed um, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, directly into that space from the previous row. Okay, so now we are simply going to be placing a double crochet into each and every stitch along. So just place a double crochet on top of each double crochet from the previous row like so. So I've almost reached the end of this row and in the last double crochet which is this one and which is also the chain three from the previous row you will be placing two double crochets together. Just go ahead and place two double crochets in that stitch. And this is what row two looks like. So I'm really pleased with how this is looking and this is a very um, easy pattern to follow because it simply will be a repeat of row two over and over again. So I'll just show you for row three, so chain three, one, two and three. Turn your work and place another double crochet inside that same first stitch here. Now go into the next stitch and as always just place a double crochet into each and every stitch across. 
So I will be just showing you this row, which is row three, and then after that, it's just obviously a simple repeat over and over. So I'll let you carry on once I've finished this row with you. So there we go, I've almost reached um, the center space from the previous row and in this center space you will be placing two double crochets one and two chain two one and two and two double crochets and now you are simply going to be placing a double crochet into each and every space uh, each and every stitch across so you see it's really really simple as I said it's just a repeat of row 2 over and over mm, there we go so and now that we've reached the last stitch here which is the chain 3 from the previous row you are going to be placing two double crochets in this one and two and this is what um, row three looks like and so you will have 38 rows in total so just go ahead and repeat row two for 38 rows in total and then I'll get back to you to show you how to finish off this shawl with the beautiful V stitch border. Yes, for the purpose of this video, I have a much smaller sample, but the principle will be the exact same. So after you have your 38 rows, what you will be doing is the border. So to create your border, chain one, and this counts as a single crochet and goes with this first stitch here so go directly into the second stitch with a single crochet so to single crochet just pop your hook through the um, stitch pull up a loop you've got two loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through two loops now go into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch and into the next stitch and just place a single crochet into each and every stitch across and I'll show you what to do when you reach the um, center chain 2 space so once you reach the center chain 2 space you will place two single crochets so one and two chain two one and two and place two single crochets again in the center now place a single crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row and I'll show you how to finish off this row and create the next row so I've reached the end of this row which is the chain three from the previous row so just place one single crochet into that and that's it this is what this row should look like and now for row two of the border you are going to be um, chaining four so one two three and four turn your work and this counts as your first double crochet and chain and a chain space so this counts as your first double crochet and a chain space so what you will be doing now is skipping the next stitch which is this one so skip the next stitch and go into the next stitch and place two double crochets together in that stitch so wrap your yarn around your hook and go into the stitch and place a double crochet and go back into that stitch with a double crochet and I just want to say this is our first V stitch and I also want to say that I do my V stitch like so which is two double crochets together I don't always place a chain between my two double crochets 
because this is the way I learned to create the v-stitch and I think that's quite an old-fashioned British way of making a v-stitch so yes often people tell me you forgot the chain in the middle of the two double crochets but no um that's how the pattern is so i just wanted to to clear that up if you were asking yourself so a v-stitch is just two double crochets together for this pattern obviously sometimes i use the american v-stitch which is double crochet chain one double crochet but I don't always so yeah anyways so now that you've created your first v stitch just skip a stitch and go into the next with a v stitch so double crochet and double crochet and now skip a stitch and go into the next with a v stitch so just carry that on until you reach the top of the project where um, there is a chain two space and I'll get back to you to show you what to do here. Okay so I've reached the top of my um, of this um, section and so I still have one stitch here but we are going to be skipping it because we've just placed our double crochet uh, our v stitch here sorry so skip the next stitch and go directly into the chain two from the previous row and place a v stitch so two double crochets two double crochets chain two and then another v stitch inside this chain two space from the previous row there we go and this is what the top looks like so with two v stitches in this section so now what you are going to be doing for your project to be symmetric is skipping the next stitch here and going into the next with a v stitch so there we go skip a stitch and go into the next with a v stitch skip a stitch and go into the next so just carry this on until you reach the end of this row and I'll show you how to finish off this row and how to create the next row so I've almost finished this row and to finish off this row I am simply going to be chaining four so I've got two stitches left one and two and I've just placed a V stitch here. I've got one stitch and a second stitch. So we're going to skip the next stitch. And to finish off this row, you are going to be chaining one and placing just one double crochet inside that last stitch, which is a chain three from the previous row. And this is what it should look like. So for the next row, it's really easy. It's simply a repeat of this row. So chain four, one, two, three, and four. Turn your work like this, and this counts as your first double crochet and a chain space. And now go directly into the next um, V stitch from the previous row and place a V stitch into that. And then go directly into the next V stitch and place a V stitch into that. And now go directly into the next V stitch and place a V stitch into that. And so on. And you are simply going to be um, doing this. And once you reach um, the um, center, the chain two center, just do like we did in the previous row, which is place one v stitch chain two one v stitch and then place a v stitch into each and every v stitch from the previous row and then i'll show you how to finish off this row okay so i've almost finished um this row so to finish off this row i am going to be chaining one and placing a double crochet into the chain three from the previous row like so 
So now for the next row, which will be um, the last row of this shawl, this is the shell stitch edging and for this you are going to be chaining three, one, two, three. And this counts as our first double crochet and just place two more double crochets within that same first stitch here. So just go ahead and place two more double crochets and this is a half shell and because this is the edge of the shawl we are just going to be placing half of a shell on each edge. So now for the next stitch you are going to be skipping two stitches so this chain from the previous row counts as a stitch so skip one and two and go into the next and place a single crochet into that. Now skip one and two stitches and go into the next with five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Skip two stitches, one and two, and go into the next with a single crochet. Skip one and two stitches and go into the next with five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now skip one and two stitches, go into the next and place a single crochet. Now skip one and two stitches and go into the next with a shell stitch. So five double crochets, so one, two, three, four, and five. And skip the next stitch and in the center you are going to be placing a single crochet. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into the center. Okay, so now what we are going to be doing to make this um, border symmetrical, you are going to skip the next stitch and go into the next with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip two stitches and go into the next with a single crochet. Cha uh, skip two stitches, one and two, and go into the next with a shell stitch, which is five double crochets. So just go ahead and carry this pattern on and I'll show you how to finish off this row. Okay, so I am back and I've practically finished this row. And so to finish this row, I've just placed a single crochet here. I'm going to count one, two, so obviously you remember this is a chain four. So um, this counts as a stitch, the chain counts as a stitch. So we're going to skip these two and then we're going to go into the chain three, the third chain and place three double crochets to finish off this um, shell stitch edging. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Obviously it will look a lot nicer um, with the full length. I'll be showing you in a minute my full length one. This is just um, to show you the stitches. So it's it's a bit, I wouldn't say deformed, but it's not exactly, it doesn't look exactly as it should. I hope I'm making sense. So don't worry about this. This is just a sample just to go through the stitches with you. But because your shawl will be a lot bigger, it will obviously look a lot more symmetrical and nicer. So anyways, so now that we've finished the shell stitch edging, I am going to show you how to create the two ties on each end of the um, shawl. So to create the ties, you are not going to fasten off at this point. You are simply going to be chaining 50. So chain 50, one, two, three, four, 
So I am back and I've not chained 50. Obviously this is a sample so there's no point me show it going through um, the 50 stitches. So I've chained a smaller amount but the uh, principle is the same. So this is what we have once we've chained 50. And so what you are going to be doing is skipping the first chain here. I don't know if I can zoom in and make it a bit clearer. There we go. So once you've chained 50, obviously it will be longer than this. Skip the first chain next to the hook and go directly into that second chain and place a single crochet. Go into the next chain and place a single crochet. And into the next chain and place a single crochet and just place a single crochet into each and every stitch across. Okay so I finished this row of um, single crochets what we are going to be doing because this is quite a thick strap so to speak I mean it's quite delicate but it is um, quite thick so what you are going to do to secure it, you are going to be going through this stitch here and placing a single crochet into that. And now you will be um, fastening off. So I'm just taking my scissors. Fasten off and um, pull through this loop to finish off this project like this. And obviously you need to... Um, Tidy up your loose ends, but this is what it will look like. Obviously a lot longer, but that's the main um, principle of the project. And now for the next tie, what you are going to be doing for the second tie on the other side. So this is on this side and then on the other side of the shawl. Just go through that stitch here on the corner attach your yarn so I'm just going to attach my yarn like so and just um, chain 50 once again so go through chain 1, 2, 3, 4 so you should have chained 50 but for this um, sample I've chained less so skip that first chain here and go into the neck, the second stitch and place a single crochet and just repeat what I showed you on the other side. Like so. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into each and every stitch until you reach the end of this row. And now just fasten this onto. There's no specific stitch you can fasten it on. It's just make sure that it's it looks nice, if that makes sense. Now fasten off the yarn. Pull through this. And this has created our, um, our ties. So I hope this tutorial was clear. So this is the finished shawl, as you can see. The edges are straight and lovely. I absolutely adore this shawl. It's so beautiful. The ties are absolutely lovely. I love um, the edging, the border. I was scared that because um, it was all the same colour, so like the grey colour, that the edging wouldn't be um, so noticeable, but I actually think it looks really nice on camera and you can really notice the V-stitch. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.